Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the first month of the new year um, for embellishments on the 11th. It is a collab hosted by Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage here on YouTube. And um, in the description below will be all the other ladies who are in the um, collab as well. So please go and check out their channels if you're not already, su already subscribed and um, see what different embellishments they have come up with for this month. Now, um, me and my friend Paige, who is Stamp Girl, she's also in this collab, she um, actually approached me, sent me an email um, a few months ago, well, towards the end of 2020, and asked if I wanted to um, turn our embellishments for this collab into a swap with each other. And um, I thought that was like an awesome idea um, I'm always making a lot. I usually try to make a good bit of um, embellishments anyways because I like to have some just to have on hand. And so I could just make a few extra. And we came up with some, um, like, not really necessarily themes, but just sort of some guidelines for us to kind of go off of for our embellishments for each month. And we're going to swap every three months. So like January, February, March. Um, we will make our embellishments and then we're going to send to each other and then again in April, May, June and then send after three months. So for January and February and March, um, we are going to be doing embellishments that are like in pinks and greens. Um, this can incorporate anything spring. Um, it can also be geared towards Valentine's if we want to. Or St. Patrick's Day those are all things that kind of come up in those three months um, so for these first set I've actually got two sets of embellishments that I was that I made and well actually I made three sets but the other set I've decided to keep for my stickier side of crafting um, because I don't want to get too carried away in this in this video um, but I use these little tiny uh, miniature cupcake liners that I I guess I got at probably Walmart maybe a couple years ago, I don't know. I just happened to find them in my craft cabinet when I was looking for some spring type things to use. And so I just, I had never done rosettes with cupcake liners, so mine are not really the greatest. And I've seen tutorials on YouTube and I didn't even pull any up this time. I just kind of <laughs> winged it, just kind of did my own thing. And for, I could kind of base it off of what I thought I remembered seeing in those other tutorials so I had I made some little one inch circles and um, I just used art glitter glue because I I actually have a kind of burned my fingers on one of these when I was trying to put the little uh, sentiment on so I'm not really the greatest <laughs> with the glue gun I try to stay away from it if at all possible um, so I just use art glitter glue to attach the rosette or the cupcakes now these are actually two of those cupcake liners on each one of these um so I basically wrapped around like half of the circle and then used the second liner to do the other half and then i just took my scissors and kind of trimmed to make it a little bit neater and these little puffy stickers are the cutest um, let's see if i can find the package they are from i guess i think these are from walmart as well and i've probably had them for a few years um, I tried to pick some that weren't necessarily Easter. Uh, I tried to, but most of them did have like eggs and baskets and stuff like that on it. So I tried to do some that weren't too overly Easter. Like this little ducky is adorable. I love ducks. They're so cute. And then these are just some stickers that I found. Um, it had like eight sheets. Some of them have cream back like sort of on cream or this is sort of like an ivory off-white something like that and then there's four of the sentiment sheets in white and these are by old snap and I don't have any clue where I got them from I think that might have been from like a peachy cheap um, one time last year I bought I think a pack of like four or six of these big packs of sentiments word stickers and stuff like that um, so I did take some green like coordinating just a scrap of cardstock and line I made little flags out of the words so that one just says I'm so happy and these little felt flowers are from Hobby Lobby from probably probably a year or two ago in their Easter section 
So I'm just using up things. These are all items that I've probably had for at least a year, maybe two years. So it was nice to be able to use them up. And I just layered everything together to make these fun little decorations. So that one says, I'm so happy. Um, this one, there were these little eggs. There, were, I think there were only three um, of the little puffy stickers that had green background. This isn't exactly matching the rosette, but it is green. And then I used the three backgrounds, the uh, little puffies that had the pink background. Um, so there's one with eggs, and I just put just another day on there. But that can be, you know, for anything. And then this one with the adorable duck popping out of the eggs. It's fabulous. And then this little pink one here is the sunshine. I love that little with the little pink cheeks on him. Hello, sunshine. That was perfect. So... <laughs> That was the first one that I made, and that's the one that burned my fingers because <laughs> I dropped the I dropped the thing, trying and it flipped upside down and that caught on my finger, and then I was like, ooh, and an owen and everything flipping back and forth from one finger to the other trying to get it off my hand. Oh yeah, that was, my fingers were a little bit sore yesterday, or the day before, whenever I made these. And then this one is just a basket with some eggs and put cherish every day on it. And then this one is an adorable little bunny with a carrot and just says hello there. So I thought these were fun. She can use them for um, Easter projects, spring projects, just fun, any type of thing. And now some uh, other thing that I made um, is um, I found these cute bunny, bunny stickers in my stash. Um, these are from Hobby Lobby, probably got them last year, maybe the year before, but they're really pretty. They have a lot of gold foiling on them. A few of them are sort of Easter-y because of the eggs, but most of them were just bunnies with flowers, and some of them are just bunnies by themselves, so that way they won't be like necessarily Easter. So I just took, and I found this paper laying beside my desk I had moved something and there was this pretty paper underneath it and that's what really inspired me to pull out these bunnies I love this print I was able to get six of these punched out with my Stampin' Up! postage stamp and these bunnies I just used the Stampin' Up! dimensionals and both the regular size and the minis and to be able to pop the bunny rabbit up on the so it sticks up a little bit above this um, pattern doesn't blend in too much and then these are just some little bling from Hobby Lobby and now this around the border I was actually wanting to use um, pom-pom trim um, I usually have different collars that I get from Hobby Lobby but I was I guess I'm totally out except for white I had white pom-pom trim and obviously I didn't want white when the card itself was white and these cards are two and a half inches square and then this punch here, I'm not sure how big the, I think it's about two inches tall by one and a half wide. So it fits really nicely inside this square. And it just offset the little bunny at the bottom. And then this, I just took a, another Stampin' Up! border punch. And you see here, I just made long strips and then I just adhered it to the back of the edges. <clears throat> and then just trimmed it to make this little border around it. I would have rather have had the pom-pom trim. Um, I used to have, I mean, there for a while I had it in like a hot pink. I had yellow and orange and blue, pretty much every color that they had, but I've, I guess I've used them all up on projects. They're great for using on like altered CDs to go around the edge. You use like a wider lace or trim on the back side of the CD so it sticks out. And then on the front, to cover up the front edge, I use that pom-pom trim. So that is the perfect a perfect trim for those types of projects so that is something I will need to pick up next time I'm at Hobby Lobby hopefully I can stay away for a while because I don't need anything really and if I try to run in for one thing then um, yeah I'll end up with way too much <clears throat> so that is the first one I think he's cute and I didn't put any kind of sentiment on here because um, I'm not really sure what I would use it for it could be used for basically anything, I would think. Anything spring. Um, it could be used for something Easter-y. Um, so you could put like a little sentiment, like make a little banner to go across the top corner. You could put something coming off the side. You could do something on the card itself. So I didn't put any kind of sentiment on these. And then here's this adorable one. I love that little bunny. It just had a little flower beside it. Super cute. 
and love that little paper scrap. I don't know where that came from. It's probably one of my 12 by 12 pads that I had just laid the extra beside me and or to the side and it somehow got covered up. But I love that paper. There's this one has a couple eggs with it, so that one is more Eastery. And then look, I love this one. It looks like he's looking up into the big rose there. And then here's this one with this teeny tiny little bunny peeking out from behind the flowers. Super cute. And I did use scraps for most of this pink. I did have to pull out an, another sheet, a whole, a whole sheet for the last four cards. But this one is a little bit different shade of pink because I just pulled out of my scrap bag for that. And so there is this one. And then here's this one that's standing up. I only had room for two of the little gems there because of his ears. And then this one, he's kind of bouncing out of the flowers. Super cute. And now when I punched out these, I was actually left with a, um, like a, that's getting blurry, piece of um, just a scrap right in the middle that was too skinny to punch out. You can kind of see I didn't get it trimmed good. But I just made a rectangle with that that was two by one and a half, I think. Yeah, just made a square that was two by one and a half, but it was not wide enough to want enough paper there to be able to actually punch it out so i just cut it out so it's got mostly straight edges and i was able to make a seventh one and completely used up that sheet of paper that i found so though there are seven more embellishments so i all together i made 13 well plus the nine embellishments that i made that i'll be showing on the stickier side of crafting when that collab comes due and so here is everything that i made for this month i think they are super adorable um like i said i've never made these before so they're a little bit messy but i still think they turned out really cute and it's not wanting to focus there we go i think they and i love those flowers those little they're, they're sort of thick and they come with a foam dot on there the foam's pretty sticky I didn't add any extra glue and it's staying on there real nicely. So there are my spring themed embellishments. And um, next month I'll be back again with some more fun embellishments. Um, I have an idea now already of what I will be doing. So come back on the 11th for that. And please again check out everyone down in the description below. Um, see what kind of embellishments they have come up with and um, show them some support and thank you so much everyone for stopping by if you're not subscribed please um, subscribe I'd love to have you join my channel and uh, thank you for watching I'll talk to you all the next time take care